Today, I will be presenting about big data and statistics. In our past, we worked with only a small amount of data and collected small samples because our tools to collect, store, organize, and analyze were poor. However, today, the technical environment has changed. There still are some constraints on how much data we can manage, but it is far less limiting than it used to be and will become even less as time goes on. One aim of statistics is to confirm the richest finding using smallest amount of data. More than 300 years ago, a British named John Grant had a novel idea. He wanted to know the population of London at the time of plague. Instead of counting every person, he devised an approach, which today we call statistics, in order to infer about the population size. Even though his approach was crude, but it established the idea that one could extrapolate useful knowledge about general population from small samples. So sampling was his solution to the problem of information overload in an earlier age. But its accuracy depends on ensuring randomness. But achieving such randomness is hard. Also, biases in the way the data is collected may lead to the extrapolated results being wrong. So sampling does not make much sense when we can harness large amounts of data. And in many areas, shifts are taking place from getting some data to getting as much as possible or gathering everything. So getting all of, the, all of this information together allows us to spot connections and details that are otherwise cloaked in the vastness of information. We can still use sampling in certain contexts, but it is not a predominant way to analyze large data sets. In short, it's all about the difference between explaining and predicting. Statistics is about explaining a certain phenomenon by extracting interesting patterns from individual data sets. Big data, on the other hand, is about um, discovering and extracting knowledges from large data sets in order to make decisions and predictions. So in our past, we couldn't use um, statistics, which is like the foundation of big data, to provide solutions for worldwide hunger and malnutrition. But now, with big data, we can. The integrated farming systems um, uses big data to provide uh, best strategy for farmers to maximize their agricultural yield. So using inputs that farmers uh, provided, including boundaries, um, land use, and all of their information about their particular fields, the integrated farming systems uh, provide best strategy for farmers. IBM too has entered the big data agricultural arena in a big way. IBM gets atmospheric data from National Oceanic and, Am and Atmospheric Administration Terrestrial data, including topography, land use, and water temperature from sensors aboard NASA spacecraft, as well as additional data from National Geological Survey. This program also gathers in data from private weather stations. So this program gathers all of this information together to make forecasts every 10 minutes for each 1.5 square kilometers of farmland over an area of 45 square kilometers. So this program is very useful because it predicts how the uh, moisture in the atmosphere uh, will affect the moisture level in the soil, which is what ultimately impacts the um, growth of agriculture. Also, this big data program can provide um, solutions for worldwide hunger and malnutrition, as it can analyze uh, variables that might have a potential impact on agriculture. So under the influence of big data, um, statisticians will need to learn more um, computer science skills, including algorithms, scripting languages, as well as good understanding of correlation and causation and other variables that are crucial to big data. Also, one of the most exciting part about big data is that it can be applied to many domains of knowledge. But in order to make it effective, uh, we must have to identify the problems we have to solve for, the kinds of questions we should be asking for, and the kinds of answers we should be looking for. So in conclusion, as big data industry progresses, more statisticians will be needed because the numbers have no way of speaking for themselves. We speak for them. Thank you.